All right, we are now starting the work session uh, update on litigation. Uh, Ms. Whit Pearson. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Oh, I'm sorry. We need, we, need, we need to introduce, uh, just for now, people here, and then we're going to executive session, everyone. Mm -hmm. So starting with Mr. Gates. Uh, Dean Gates, it's be Mr. Dyson. Dyson. Becky Wynn Pearson, Municipal Attorney. Barbara Jones. Forrest Dunbar. Christopher Pete Peterson. John Weddleton. Suzanne Krantz. Thank you. And again, we'll do more thorough when we go into executive session. Ms. Wynn Pearson. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, as you mentioned, the purpose of this work session is to do a quick overview of pending litigation matters and legal claims involving the municipality. Our time is limited today, so I'll be very brief. We're going to run through things relatively quickly. I have, it looks like, most of my department here today, uh, which is excellent, and uh, a number of folks will speak individually to the cases that they are handling. Um, after, because this is a discussion of pending litigation and confidential details considering, concerning litigation, I will ask that after a brief public introduction, we move into executive session. Um, in terms of a brief overview of litigation currently being handled by the Municipal Attorney's Office, we have presently 626 open civil legal matters. This is both litigation and non-litigation matters. Um, of this, 139 are open litigation matters, so disputes pending before a third party tribunal. Um, we have a team of 13 civil attorneys. Uh, of those, seven are litigators focused primarily on these litigation matters. And when I say litigation, that universe includes disputes pending in a number of tribunals, um, the Alaska District Court, Alaska Superior Court, U.S. District Court, uh, the Alaska Supreme Court, the U.S. Court of Federal Claims, Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, and various administrative agencies, including the Workers' Comp Board, the Regulatory Commission of Alaska, and our own administrative hearing officer. Um, very quickly, the cases or claims that we'll talk about today are those that really we see as having the highest potential for financial impact or for public policy impact on the municipality. Those cases in very quick order are uh, Graham versus the municipality of Anchorage. This is the AFD um, uh, discrimination claim that uh, concluded last year. Mr. Training specifically asked for an update on this. I've included it on the list. Anchorage versus the United States. This is the remaining piece of the port litigation. Uh, pinnacle construction claims arising out of construction at Lusak Library. Henry versus the municipality of Anchorage. This is the APD wrongful discharge claim arising out of the National Guard investigation. Uh, various SAP related grievances pending from our unions. Um, Providence Health and Services versus the Regulatory Commission of Alaska, which is the uh, uh, recent administrative appeal of the MLNP rate case. Um, Grisham versus the municipality of Anchorage, which is uh, the preacher who was asked to leave Forest Fair last summer, who has sued the municipality on First Amendment grounds. Um, and the Leva versus the municipality of Anchorage, which is Mr. Leva's most recent claim regarding uh, the Beans Cafe campus. Um, with that, I would ask, unless Mr. Trini wants to ask a question in I've open a question session. I've related to this. We saw the recent case, or we lost a case, both have to uh, sit against the fire department. That's Graham v. Municipality of Anchorage. This is the one because he was Korean? Yes. Okay. Well, that was a part of his claim. That the, the court did not find that discrimination had occurred, but that is the case that you're speaking That's about. That's what I want to talk about, so I'll wait until I get there. Okay, perfect. With that, with the chair's consent, I'd like to lay the foundation to remove to executive session. Yes, please do. Okay. Um, today, the Municipal Attorney's Office seeks to apprise the Assembly of certain details concerning pending litigation matters that involve the municipality pursuant to AMC 230035. B1A, the Assembly may recess to meet in executive session to hear details concerning pending litigation. So I would request that you move into executive session now. Does that require a motion? Or yep, it requires a motion and a second. So we Chair, I move we go into executive session for legal matters that are impacting the, could impact legal and fiscal matters of the city of Anchorage. Second. Second. 